Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are live at the FME in Quebec right now, thanks to our friends at the SoCan Foundation with Lou Adrian Cassidy. Thank you for being here. Hi. Yeah, this has been a pleasure on our side getting to know you a little bit over the last hour and listening to the sound check. And uh, we're going to share three of your songs today. All of them are from the second record, Bonsoir. What do you want to do first today? Thank you. Uh, we're going to play first uh, Oui, le serpent nous guette, which means, yes, uh, the snake is watching you, approximately. <laughs> <laughs> watching us. Okay. Un, deux. Oui, le serpent nous guette. Thank you, Lou. Um, this environment, I know that the, the show tonight is going to be a significantly different vibe than the acoustic vibe that's happening yeah. in here, but this is perfectly suited for this room and for Thanks. our series, what we normally do at Pace. This is, I'm, I'm having a great time, so thank you for sharing. Yeah, thank you. We had yes. a great time too. Yeah, we were uh, yeah. talking a little bit offline about the, um, the differences in French Canadian culture to is would it be called Anglo? What's what's the op, what's the non French part yeah, of yeah? I think Anglo culture and between here and the in the United States as yeah. well. And I know you're in Quebec City, and I know a little bit about what's happening up here culturally and musically. But I want to know more. Can you tell us a little bit about what your scene is like and some of the artists who you really admire? Yeah, well, I I feel like in Quebec City in the recent years, maybe like five like it's. It was preparing <laughs> like in the last 10 years, but I feel like the last, the last four years, something really happened in Quebec City, um, especially. Uh, 
I think before uh, all of the artists thought that they had to move to Montreal to make music in their life and some people chose to stay in Quebec and I think it made really like in it, it built a really great community of people who chose to stay in their in their town and who chose to make music and I feel like it's it makes this uh, milieu <laughs> I don't uh -huh. know the word uh, that's a, that's in English yeah I, think I know we that's say, a, we say milieu in English yeah yeah, yeah yeah I know but I, I feel weird like saying not saying milieu and saying milieu <laughs> <laughs> milieu uh, hors d'oeuvre <laughs> yeah hors so divorce. we're really tied together and I, I think I think it's because we 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 chose to stay there and like it, we all come from pretty different uh, musical currents and we still are in the same environment which happens less I think in Montreal because they are more simply mm -hmm. so yeah a lot of artists uh, Ariane Roy I don't know if you know her which is my one of my greatest friends and who makes music in Quebec City uh, Hubert Lenoir who's gonna play tonight with me uh, yeah, he's gonna Valence. be here next yeah. he's there at four o'clock maybe oh he's, yeah yeah he's coming in to so, do yeah. one of these Hubert Lenoir uh, Valence uh, Les Lunatiques uh, those Uh, those are les beats exu gapa kit. So yeah, we're all a big community uh, united in uh, the Pantum, which is a, a like studio and place and uh, salle de spectacle uh, venue, concert, venue. Concert venue, yeah, all at once where we all can do music together. So yeah, it's nice. great. I don't know if it was clear. But yeah. <laughs> that was extremely clear. That was exactly the question that I asked. Okay. Yeah. I like to see that. I mean, it's we see pockets of uh, people I think the same way in the U.S. Like around, I know uh, a lot about Davenport, Iowa, and it's not that big of a place, but that scene is really active. Yeah. You know, people who decided not to go to New York or Los Angeles, and like you know, a small pocket in Wisconsin where um, what's it, Justin Vernon does that whole Eau Claire. see mm. Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah, I think it it makes it that much stronger because. Like as I said, they they chose to stay there and they believe and they they work to they work to make it work <laughs> and to find solutions for the I don't know the difficulties that may come their way. So yeah. Yeah, did you see that that process accelerated even because of the pandemic? Like people who did decide oh. to move to Montreal or somewhere else, then when the pandemic hit, came back and then no. were able to be creative. No, I think it was already like in already done, already in the making, like in the years like before the pandemic, I still feel like the pandemic maybe um, permitted us to be more free in our creations because we had more time. For me, it, it allowed me to, I don't know, like just think more about the album that I was gonna make and think more about the concept and the ideas. And I, I knew where I was going a lot more than in my first album. But maybe it's, it's because it was not my first album too, but yeah. Well, thank you for sharing the music with us today and uh, for talking about it a little bit. I've been listening to the record quite a bit since, uh, I mean, I became aware of your music when we knew that we were coming up here maybe two or three months ago. I've been listening to the record a lot, so oh, it's great to be listening to it, having you perform it right here in this group of four people in this room. <laughs> and a bunch, we've got a good crowd tuned in right now, so there's a lot of happy people on the other side of those cameras. Great. And uh, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to hear two more songs from the record. What do you want to do second? Uh, je suis arrivé which means I have arrived. <laughs> okay. Comment on commence? Comment on commence? Okay. Un, deux, un, un, un. Je suis arrivé. Je suis là, mais je suis fatigué. Yeah. 
Thank you again yes. for doing this. Um, one of the, and we kind of touched on it earlier, but one of the more fun aspects of this job for me is to see how artists choose to take the studio recording and then adapt it for mm. a significantly different arrangement. Um, can we, in, in case uh, people who are viewing right now are not familiar with the record at all, can we talk a little bit about the additional production elements, the instrumentation, and the way that the, the yeah. record itself sounds? Uh, well, it's, it's really different than <laughs> what we're doing now. Uh, I don't know there's a lot of <laughs> instruments I don't know how I would define it it's really the hardest question for me I feel like def define my album I can talk about the subject maybe more like it's an album not maybe a concept album because but there's a a, a theme of the album which is uh, sexuality uh, like my sexuality and all the contradictions that come with being a by I'm a woman so <laughs> being a woman and uh desire and absence of desire and seduction and and suffering like in this all in 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 this the realm of yeah uh, this this subject <laughs> um so it was really uh, interesting for me to I don't know to to write these songs and to try to be intimate but still talk to not only myself um and uh, yeah the uh, i don't know the arrangements uh, what what can i say no let's so we'll talk about the say? theme yeah, more yeah. than the arrangements that's yeah i like the answer even though yeah. it wasn't the question my question was boring that was a great answer though. no it's not boring <laughs> at all i just don't know like there there's drums and <laughs> there's <laughs> keyboards sometimes <laughs> well so do you feel like you have has it been helpful therapeutic like do you have a better grasp of your own needs yeah. and yourself and uh, do you have a better understanding of, of how you function and what you need? Well, I, I feel like I talk about maybe a moment in my life where I couldn't have written those words where my, my relationships and everything were really more toxic than, than, than now. So I have kind of this exterior eye on, on the subject, but I'm not only talking about really myself, but more what I observed and all, all as I said, I, I feel like when we talk about sexuality in songs, often it's like seduction songs, or it's like, oh, you can, I don't know, you're like really empowering. So I wanted to play with that and yes, be empowered, but also talk about, um, yeah, I, not the suffering, I don't know the word, but just the other side of the metal, maybe, mm -hmm. that comes with, e even when we're uh, empowered, is it clear? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what I, I found interesting in in writing this album. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you again. Really, really, thank you for the music and for the words. And um, we've there's still one more coming up from the record. What do yes. you want to do third today? Uh, so yeah, it's a it, it comes uh, with what I said. The the <laughs> the title is Entre mes jambes, which means between my legs. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's my comment. Okay. Nos yeux ne se cherchent pas. Alors nos yeux ne se trouvent pas. Encore.
Sounds great, and thank you for the the heads up before we went live about how dynamic that was going to be. Like, oh yeah, it's, it's wonderful, man. It Sorry really for that. helps. No, no, don't apologize. It's goosebumps, and it's, oh, I think thanks. it is because of the dynamics of how it really builds and gets quiet and draws you in, and then whoa, <laughs> yeah, chord change. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I like uh, playing with chords. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thanks again for doing this and have a great show. We'll see you on the main stage at 8 o'clock. We will have yeah. just wrapped in this room and we'll run over there and see you at 8 o'clock and have a great sh I forget what you said is publicly announced and what's not, but there there's shows coming up, right? Oh, yeah. I have a show in Montreal uh, Wednesday, but it's sold out. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited about, about that. And so we have a bigger venue in I th uh, April thir the 13th, 2023 in the Club Soda in Montreal. And uh, yeah, a lot of other shows coming up. We're having uh, lots of fun on stage, so I'm really happy to go on with that. Good, yeah. mm -hmm. good, good. All right, we'll see you tonight. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you much. Right. Thank you.